This is Warhammer 40k Dark Vengeance from 2014. The starter box set from the 7th edition of Warhammer 40,000. Funnily enough, it was also the starter for the 6th edition in 2012. But that's another story. Regardless, I've never painted a Space Marine before, and today, today we're going to rectify that. Hey there hobby friends, I'm Jared and this is Caffeinated Miniatures. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I picked up this virtually new Dark Vengeance box set recently, mostly for the Chaos Space Marine models. However, the Dark Angels were assembled, so I picked one of the models that looked interesting and channeled my inner eBay miniature rescues. There was very little actual rescue that needed to happen here, just scraping a few missed mold lines. And the priming appeared to be fairly thin and even, so I left it alone. A decision I would come to regret, but more on that later. All the minis in this box are pretty damn cool and characterful. And Veteran Sergeant Raphael is no exception, particularly his face, which is where I started. I picked up this basic set of Pro Acryl paints from Monument Hobbies and really wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I focused on primarily using this set. Starting with a mix of light umber and tan flesh, I smeared a base coat over his head. Then mixing in more and more tan flesh as I began building the volumes. To add a little more life, I mixed in some ice yellow for some of the brightest points. At this point, I felt the skin was a little too flat. With a skin tone this pale, you'd see more undertones of blood flow. So I diluted burnt red to a thin glaze, building up some more color to the eyes, ears, nose, and temples. To further add some more shape and interest, I similarly diluted dark warm grey, glazing it into the lower cheeks and jaw. Feeling fairly happy with the skin, it was time to tackle some dark angel power armor. Lacking what I deemed to be a decent dark angel's green, I began mixing green and coal black, and slapped it across all the armor. Rather than the traditional, very edge highlight focused, heavy metal style painting, I elected to attempt a more volumetric route. And mixing in more green, I began to build up those volumes. Then diluting the mix to a thin glaze and glazing over the transition to blend it smooth. Finally adding a little ice yellow to the brightest points. I did highlight the edges of course, I just focused on upward facing edges that would reflect light. and adding a few little scratches here and there. With all the green done, I worked on finishing the backpack, giving myself a bit of a win and creating a sense of accomplishment. Sometimes these little victories help build a little more momentum for the rest of the project. Working on the banner statue thing on top of the backpack, I applied dark warm gray to the feathers in the middle. Then work the highlights up with bright warm gray and white. I then base coated the gold surround with mahogany, a color I thought would provide an interesting undertone for gold.
then working up through golden brown. A mix of golden brown and ivory. Then ivory and white. Next up was the cloth. Opting for a warm gray cloth color, I splashed on dark warm gray over all the cloth. To build up the volumes, I began adding small amounts of bright warm gray to the dark warm gray. And after a couple of solid layers, I began using some small, semi-random brush strokes to give the cloth some texture. As it's a fairly prominent aspect of the model, I wanted to ensure it had some visual interest without being overwhelming. After building up to pure bright warm grey, I mixed in some bold titanium white for the brightest points. I jumped onto the red things next. Grabbing burnt red, I began applying it to the seal, rope, and crest on the cloth. However, when I got to the shoulder pauldron, the plasma pistol, and chain sword, I was cursing my decision to roll with the existing prime. The paint was puddling, almost curdling, and kind of refusing to adhere to the primer. Now you might be asking yourself, Jared, couldn't you have stopped, fixed the issue, and moved on? And yes, yes I could have, but did I? No. No, I just uh, upped my level of cursing and kept applying layers. Eventually mostly covering the black. Mostly. After that debacle, I highlighted with bold pyrrol red. Then added some ice yellow for the final highlights. And with some further diluted ice yellow, I added some scuffs and scratches to the chain sword and called the red done. Following the same process as the backpack, I slapped some paint on the other shoulder pauldron, applying dark warm gray, light warm gray, then bold titanium white. After the red paint and primer issues, I was kinda over this project. So the white silver metal and remaining gold bits were painted at a, a well below half-assed level. There's paint on those areas, but uh, that's, that's all I'll say about them. In an effort to struggle and swear profusely one more time, I began to paint the plasma coils on the pistol. I struggled to get some bull titanium white on there with something approximating decent coverage. Then I smeared some fluorescent red on. And while there's a decent amount of black primer peeking through, my give a damn was definitely busted. Finishing with the base, I splashed on some bright warm gray and then some Basilicanum Grey contrast paint. I followed it up with a light dry brush of bright warm grey and filed it firmly under good enough. So without further ado, here's my veteran sergeant, Raphael.
Well, there you go, my first ever Space Marine. And I can't believe I'm saying this, I am actually interested in painting some more different Marines. Definitely need to paint some of the Chaos from this Dark Vengeance box first because they are tasty. As always, if you made it this far, you are an absolute legend. While you're here, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. You are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.